All right, we see John mulliganing down to five and myself down to six. And we're ready to go. Tundra into Ponder. Splitzer is here, says, my sweaters stay sleeved up even in the wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah. Thoughts on the return of DCI numbers? I, I think the return of DCI numbers has changed my life for the better. Cheddar says, work got kind of hectic for a minute. Finally got a minute to sub. Thank you, Cheddar. Thanks for the sub with Prime, making Jeff Bezos pay for it the best way. All right, here's Dragon's Rage Channeler for Jeskai John. Jeskai John on Is It Lately, which is interesting. Is It, of course, part of the Jeskai family? It's all one big happy family. Here's another ponder. All right, a ponder shuffle. Just want to take a quick moment to thank some new YouTube members. Mr. From HK and Giovanni Magnifico. Thanks for becoming a member. Hit the join button if you're watching on YouTube to become a YouTube member. Thank you to those new members. All right, Wasteland on my Tundra. Yeah, Whitelist Delver, exactly, exactly. Jay Liddy in the chat is John. Caracas comes down. Caracas not very useful against Delver these days. It was quite useful when Raghavan was around, but not so much at the moment. Swords to Plowshares takes out DRC. Delver does not flip. And attacks for one, putting me down to 18. Snow Island and Brainstorm. So lots of foils on John Lee's side, which is, which is great. Really appreciate the dedication, but... What do you think, chat? Should, should Jay Liddy, John Lee, Jeskai John have double feature foil Delver of Secrets or this old, really uh, antiquated one that's on the board right now? What does everybody think? I don't know. <laughs> From the Vault Delver, yeah. <laughs> Two of each. Tall Eric says prefer classic. Yeah, Tall Eric is a little more boring. Alcazen says that's a hot brainstorm. I have F and M ones and drool over mask foils. Yeah. Wait till you see my brainstorms. They're they're really something to look at. All right, cracking a flooded strand. We on the edges of our seats for this this uh, fetch land, and there's a basic island. <laughs> Cheddar says from the vault only. Yeah, sh I don't know. Like fr from the vault, and, and I'm being for real right now. Like was was from the vault cool, or did people hate from the vault? Because I I thought it was cool. I guess they did keep it going though with these commander. Uh, what are they called? Spellbook. Is that what they're called? It's kind of like from the vault. AJ Potato says, I subscribe to the Get the Cheapest Print Version School of Thought. Yeah, I, I usually do that, to be honest. I'll just buy whatever's the cheapest. Usually. Coaxel says, From the Vault was the precursor to Secret Lair. Um, yeah, kind of. Kind of. It, it, it was definitely... Uh, one. Yeah, from the vault led to secret layers. I would say that that's that's a good uh, that's a good thought. Commander collection. 
yeah, I, for, I forgot what they called Jace Gideon Chandra spellbook. There was also a green one, right? Was it was it Nissa or something? Or was it like I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so green and black is the Commander Collection. Okay, so there, there, there is another product now. Yeah, Commander's Arsenal was pretty cool. That was when they uh, still hadn't really committed to Commander, and instead of putting out a whole set, they put out like a little from the vault kind of thing. And I think I remember at the time, they said that they didn't anticipate the Commander from 2011 set being so successful, so they didn't really have a follow-up ready to go, so they just made the arsenal. Is, is, is that true, or am I misremembering? Does anybody know? Any Magic the Gathering historians here? All right, Uro gets put into the graveyard. Yeah, they made a they made a product to fill the void. That's what I remember. All right, Wasteland takes out Shrop, which is pretty good at stopping Uro from coming anytime soon. This insectile aberration is chipping away, and Uro won't be back just yet. All right, prismatic ending on insectile aberration removes it, and everyone glad to no longer have to see that half-sleeved Flip Delver on the table. Yeah. I remember, I remember like, I was just barely paying attention to Magic when the uh, Commander 2011 set came out, but I remember thinking it looked really cool. And it's and at that point in time, I, n I never anticipated how big that format would get. So it's kind of cool to have seen it grow. All right, here's Volcanic Island. Passing the turn. And a ponder on my side. Not firing off my wasteland. I don't really see the point here. John has plenty of land. Kind of fetch here for John. Yeah, I haven't bought a dual land in a very long time. Um, I bought a City of Traders about two weeks ago. And that was like the first pricey reserveless card I've bought in a really long time. They're pricey. <laughs> All right, expressive iteration going back on top here with Mystic Sanctuary and getting cast. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Goes into exile. And it's getting cast. Yeah, good good point by Dave Kaplan. Um, and I thought about this afterwards, but uh, great pointing it out. In response to the fetch, I could have wasted a Valk to prevent Mystic Sanctuary. Um, but at this point in the game, I'm happy with my decision just because I was really low on lands and really needed to start uh, growing my board here. All right, expressive iteration. Yeah, I think it would have been to... Uh, all right, so a day is on the expressive iteration to return Mystic Sanctuary to hand. I'll pay one. Resolve the expressive. The wastelands that uh, John has used so far in this game on, I think, a trop and a... And a Tundra, if I remember correctly, have have really hurt. And 
it's it's an issue for these four color piles. You know, getting hit with wasteland multiple times, it it hurts. It hurts. All right, a ponder goes into exile, and no land drop. Thank Mishra. We are back to Twitch. Says Keith Master Flex with a resub. Twelve months now for Keith Master Flex. That's a new badge. Congratulations, Keith. You did it. You did it. Well done. Well done. All right, a brainstorm happening here for John. We know about a mystic sanctuary in John's hand. Let's see if it gets used here. P could put the expressive back on top yet again. All right, so polluted delta is potentially a mystic sanctuary after the brainstorm. So a bolt and a surveil. Puts a scalding tarn into the graveyard. Okay. So there's a chance the top card of the deck is the mystic sanctuary. It's possible. I don't know. Taking three here from the bolt. All right, John fetches a Volk. Elsie Shana, thanks for the follow, welcome. And another bolt. Surveil. All right, we see the Mystic Sanctuary is actually in hand. Which makes sense. Force pitching brainstorm on this bolt. Down to five. <laughs> Predator, thanks for the follow. Welcome. You know about this one? Well, maybe not because of. Uh, yeah, you did bring storm, but I, 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 I literally just took it out. <laughs> took it from the bottom. Okay. Playing a Savannah. It would have been really nice to escape Uro here, but again, the wastelands have held me back quite a bit. Going for an endurance. All right, so an unholy heat in response to the endurance trigger, which I'm targeting John with, leaves the card on top. And that'll prevent a possible Merc Tide. The Unholy Heat was supposed to go on the bottom of the library. We're going to correct that in a moment. Oh, sorry for that. So this will go on like a random place? Yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So that's been corrected in a DCI legal way. Dr. Pepper, thanks for the resub. Four months for Dr. Pepper. Thank you, thank you. Predator says, beautiful channel. Nice matchup. Thank you. Good to have you here. The vulnerability of these four-color control decks can be Wasteland. Um, and yes, as, as uh, Splitzer in the chat pointing out, DRC showing its value. Mystic Sanctuary, Expressive Iteration uh, gave, gave quite an advantage to John as well. And I just could not get things started uh, after missing a few land drops. All right, here's a trap into Ponder. And it'll be a Ponder shuffle. Mulligan to six for me, Mulligan to five again for John. Dr. Pepper jamming some bagels. Very nice. And a fetch to start the game here for Jess Guy John. Predator says, I also play and test four-color control. So uh, we do have a lot of uh, four-color pile players watching this channel, um, both live viewers and YouTube commenters. 
How do you feel about Comet Stellar Pup at this point in time? How are you feeling about it? Specifically in the four color piles. Because I've been trying it for the last couple of weeks. And uh, so far I'm liking it as a one of. Keith says, how has EI been in four color? Is the mana difficult to sequence and play on turn three? Yes. It's, it's definitely more of a, a later in the game play for this deck. I mean... You see the first two lands of the game can very often be basic island, then Caracas. I think we saw that in game one. You're not, you're not going to be uh, turn three EI that regularly. Corno says, I haven't played with Comet yet, but I hate that Uro plus Minskin Boo is terrible against Caracas. Yeah, I mean, I guess they do have to have a weakness. Otherwise, it would all be just insane. J. Liddy says, I really want them to ban EI. Okay, so J. Liddy is talking about bans. Skolb is saying, uh, Comet has been very good. Rolling six twice and wiping the board with the 4-5 ability is great. Yeah, I, I mean, I kind of like how, like, the, the, the Comet ability is chaotic, where you don't know what's going to happen. But at the same time, it forces decisions like I have no mana value two or less cards in my graveyard. Should I canter it before activating the pup? Or I mean, I'm giving silly examples here, but or if I if my opponent activates Comet, do I have a response in case they try to shoot me with the I believe it's the four or five ability or shoot one of my creatures or like if you have mother runes on the table, what creature are you going to give protection in response to the ability? It just creates a lot of interesting situations, I find. Cy Norna wants them to unprint EI. That does not seem like, sound like a possibility. What's up, Cy Norna? Ezlo Mayo just bought two pups and the proper tokens, of course. Ezlo Mayo, thank you for picking up a t-shirt, by the way. You were talking about that earlier. Yes, get your squirrel tokens, everybody. I don't want to see any D6s representing squirrels or anything like that. Just get some t squirrel tokens, please. All right, Ponder revealed on top. That'll flip this Delver. Uro is in the graveyard. On my side. All right, some people like unglued squirrel tokens. There's that flip delver technique once again. Just about 25% of the card pulled out of the sleeve and upside down. It, it, it really is terrible. It really is terrible. Nobody likes it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Brainstorm. Brainstorm resolving here. It, it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, how big is that creature? Is it a one one five five? Can't tell. I know, I know, Corno. I know, it it's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> Predator, Predator says I test without comment. I play with Narset and Minsk. Probably I can test, but I think the card is good. But I think you should include Jace. Uh, yeah, try comment. No worries. I, many people watching English is their second or third language, so all good. All right, a shuffle happening here after the ponder. Passing the turn. 
four cards in the yard in addition to Uro, so. Yeah. Starting off the turn with a ponder. Managed to remove a lot of the early creatures on John's side. And hoping to get Uro online. Here's the Misty Rainforest, which should help the situation. Sugar Shane, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Side owner says, remember, they tested all the sticker cards to make sure they wouldn't see play in Legacy. Um, yeah. All right, Endurance coming down here. And we're just, I think we're discussing it right now. Let's see. Yep. I I think I think in this moment I waited for draw step instead of upkeep for endurance and we were discussing I probably should have done it on upkeep. The YouTube commenters will let us know what they think. Yeah, should should go on your upkeep. Well, there's an endurance on the stack. So all those cards will go on the bottom. That'll prevent a Merc Tide most likely from arriving on this turn. And Endurance will play defense for now. Here's Submerge. That'll put Endurance back on top of my library. Insectile Aberration will attack for three. So at this point in the game, I'm thinking that it's very likely that John has counter magic mm -hmm. to counter Uro. So I'm going to go for endurance once again over Uro. Hoping that that will uh, help protect me for a while. And then maybe next turn, thinking about Uro was the plan. Tanuk, thanks for the follow. Welcome. What do you think, chat? Do you just slam a row there, even if you think it's likely your opponent has Power Blast? Or do you just go for Endurance? Yeah, the Power Blast is going to get something. So I'm trying to... Uh, all right, here's Hydro Blast on my EI. Looks like one card left in my hand. Endurance is uh, playing defense. Here's Mystic Sanctuary. Hydro Blast looks like it's going to go back on top. Or maybe Expressive Iteration. I, I, I miss what John said there. Tanuk says, long time YouTube watcher, but on vacation this week and get to join the stream. Good to have you here. Yeah. All right, there's Expressive Iteration. So that was the card put back on top. A Delver put into exile and it'll get cast here flooded strand so I have the mana and the cards in the graveyard to escape Uro And 
and now Earl will go on to the stack. Looks like I'm leaving swords and expressive iteration in the graveyard in case Comet can get them back later. Power blast as expected, so Earl will go back into the graveyard. But basically, uh, exile five cards from my graveyard and pay four mana, and target target opponent discards target power blast. So now the insectile aberrations will be uh, moving forward here with an unholy heat drawn for turn. We'll see if unholy heat finishes off endurance. Coaxel, thanks for the follow. Lightning Bolt on Endurance. So an Unholy Heat is still in hand. And here's Murktide. <laughs> yeah, can we appreciate it? Do <laughs> I, I try to keep things neat on my side of the board. I'll just say that. Chad Appleman, thanks for the follow. Welcome. So Murktide is a 7-7, seven, seven, a 3-2 Insectile Aberration, yep. and here's Ponder. Blocks casting an endurance. So, <clears throat> this was, and I, I spoke about this briefly in the 90s MGG Discord. This was not a great play here because the, there were, at, at this point in time, there was only a ponder in. John's graveyard, which would add one counter to the Murktide. By targeting John with the Endurance, I thought I would just remove one card. But I just did not consider that a response would um, add, more, uh, add more to the Murktide. And yes, you do have the option to target no graveyard, which is probably what I should have done. So that, that was a misplay on my part. And I'm already thinking about it as, as we're uh, playing this game here. So I, I chumped the Murktide. And my plan right here is to escape Uro. But another Power Blast is stopping that. And a Swords will remove Murktide. So I got a little bit lucky here drawing a Swords to Plowshares after my error. Uro's still in the graveyard. Insectile Aberration still chipping away. Uro has not been able to resolve. Yeah, that was a good top deck. Here's Narsa. And minus Ignorsa. Yeah. 
Force of Iteration. And casting immediately. Wasteland into exile. I remember this expressive iteration. Like I'm, I'm just like, I just remember this expressive iteration being really lame. Like maybe it was like two wastelands and something. Firing off wasteland on Mystic Sanctuary. Don't want that being dazed back to hand. At some point in the future. So now. John has the option to either attack me with six life or Narset. <laughs> and I'm kind of just hoping that John attacks Narset. I, I think there's still an unholy heat in hand. Am I, am I right on that? I think so. All right, Mishra's Bobble comes down. Looking at my top card. It's a fetch. Three other cards besides Uro in my graveyard. Attacking Narset. Narset down. Four cards in the graveyard now. I could make five by fetching with Flooded Shram. Passing and drawing off Mishra's Bobble. Was not thrilled to draw fetch land. All right, fetching and likely going to escape Uro here. Finding a Tundra. Exile my entire graveyard. And response brainstorm. EI is just so good. Yeah, EI is um, exactly the same parallel as Necropotence and Time Twister. Skulb says, is your four-color deck the version with Field of the Dead? So this week, I did not play the Field of the Dead version. This list, and I posted it in our Discord, has uh, duplicates of duels and um, a little bit of a better mana base than the one I was previously playing, I think. Gaining my life, drawing a card off Uro. Scalding Tarn comes in off Uro. Go ahead. And passing the turn. Attack and win Insectile Aberration. Putting me down to five. Yeah, the field the field of the dead build uh, normally plays more basics and usually has the snow stuff going on. I think. Attacking with Oro here. Waiting for blocks. Carlos Gill, thanks for the follow. Welcome. All right, so John says no blocks, takes six damage. Endurance. 
All right, another endurance, which will be a good blocker here. And targeting John once again. Unholy Heat and getting Delirium off Surveil. So Endurance successfully hit with Unholy Heat. But now John does not have Delirium. He does not have cars to delve. So we're somewhat happy with that. All right, so Wasteland took out my Caracas, which can potentially uh, protect or or be used in combination with Uro, but it's gone. Here's Minsk and Boo. Thinking about a response here to Minsk and Boo. Minsk and Boo Timeless Heroes has become one of the top planeswalkers in the Legacy format over the last couple of months. There was definitely a bit of a delay on it. I remember I visited Berlin back in, was that in August? I don't know. And everyone was playing Minsk and Boo and it still hadn't really caught on because it was not yet on Magic Online. And that first look showed me that this card is really powerful. And sure enough, once it was out on Magic Online, now everybody's playing Minsk and Boo. All right, here's Petty Theft on Uro Cervell. <laughs> go back to my hands. Yeah. Also before attacks. Well, you said you should go to attacks, right? Yeah, but now we're back in before attacks. Well, before declared attacks. Oh, great question here. So we, we, we had some confusion here about how this works. If I say I'm going to combat and someone responds by casting Petty Theft like in this situation, I'm still back in my main phase, right? I could still like play a land, cast a sorcery. Am I right on that? Do we have any level seven judges here? No. I'm not right. Not in my main phase. Got gotcha. you. All right. So we did we probably did this wrong. Although I don't remember if I cast anything. Oh, I did cast something. All right, fair enough. We did it wrong. Yeah, the Hazaret debacle. We pro we probably should, we probably should have just asked the judge. We're <laughs> I don't know why I don't know why we just didn't like take it uh, take a moment to figure it out. Whatever. We did also have like one minute on the clock at this point. I think. I guess it didn't really end up mattering. I didn't really attack. Nothing really happened. In those situations, you probably should just ask a judge, everybody. Don't do what we just did and just guess, even if you're not in agreement. Yeah. It, it wasn't really... Uh, I think both of us were like, wait, when was the Petty Theft cast? We don't really know. <laughs> we, we, we didn't take it as seriously as we should have. So All right, attacking now with Dragon's Rage Channeler and Insectile Aberration. Uh, you want the first game? Yeah, okay. 
And uh, with, I, I, I think we just went to turns. And I'm just going to scoop here with John up a game because I'm down a game. So well played by John. Sorry about the error, everybody. Oh, there was delirium. Yeah. Oh, there was delirium. Yeah, that's right. That was that was lethal. 